so hello everyone in this video we will be uh, creating our login route and controller so first of all let me just go to the authroutes.js file and inside that I will be creating a login route in which we will be sending a uh, user the token for that we need to first install json web, talk, web token basically because uh, that will be using JWT tokens or json web tokens that will be using for uh, authentication and authorization purpose for authorization purpose so to install that you can just write npm i or npm install complete and then then you can write json web token after that you can hit enter that will be installed uh, let me just write login user here so this i have to create i'll be going inside the auth controller and creating that function so this will be an asynchronous function and which will receive request and response parameter i can also require the jwt here from the package which is installed now json web token now first of all i have to grab everything from the let me just also catch the errors i can log the error and i can send the status 400 and send the error you can write message or error anything uh, let's say error or I can directly send the error if I have now first of all I'll be grabbing the username and password from the request body request dot body and I'll be also making sure this is inside this first of all I'll be finding whether I have this user in my database or not by using await I can use the user model and I can use find and I can search for this user by its username I can say if a user not there uh, I can write find one that will be more, more sensible and if it is not there then I can return res dot uh, status 400 or 404 that means not found I can write error or you can write message as well user does not exist or you can simply write authentication field after that uh, what we have to do is we have to compare the password is password valid that I can do with the help of uh, user dot compare password remember we had that uh, password and I can uh, search for uh, the password like the password which I have which is this one and if password not valid password valid is not true which means I have written the wrong password so I can send that authentication field or you can write password is not valid or you can write uh, you entered a wrong password whatever the message you want to send basically uh, basically you can write wrong password simply after that if it is there then I have to create the uh, token that I can create with the help of JWT and then I can write sign 
I can specify the uh, specify the thing that I want to use. So I can specify user ID. So in the token, I am encrypting these things. So in here, I can write user dot underscore ID. Then I have to also create a secret key. So for now, I'll be storing something in here as a secret key. Let's say secret or I can write uh, JWT secret that will be good I can write test secret key you can name it anything I'm uh, you have to write uh, some alphanumerical characters here when I'm using the simple text test uh, text secret key that I have to use while uh, basically generating the tokens I have to use the secret key which is unique for our app so I can uh, first of all require the process.env for, for that I have to require the env and I have to config that because without that we cannot access the process files right so after that uh, what I have to do is I have to create the secret key variable I can write process dot env dot jwt underscore secret then I can uh, specify the secret here secret key and then I have to also specify that in how many time uh, like how much time you want to give to this uh, token basically in which means uh, till how much time it will be available or it will be valid basically I don't need this I think yeah so I have written one H which means it will be available or this token will be valid for one hour only after that uh, uh, this JWT will not recognize it, it as a valid token then after that I can send the data or I can directly res dot send I can let's create a data separately final data or anything you can write user ID you can write user underscore ID username user name uh, first name user first name last name user last name and yeah the token I can send so I can write token slash colon token but I can also write token itself so this is the syntax it will automatically create the key for that uh, okay so user ID uh, username first name last name everything is done now I can send send this data this final data as a response if I save this file and if I also save it here let me just see what happens if I log in with this if I log in I should get the details okay so you can see uh, I am getting the details I'm getting the user ID which is stored inside the database which is this one 9c and I'm also getting the username first name last name and the token so this token will be valid for one hour and I can make request with this token and I, I will also be checking this token in uh, this in in these routes so while we'll be working on the to do part so that to do part will be adding a middleware to check that uh, this route should only be uh, accessed by the token if the token is available then only uh, the person can create the to do task or list otherwise he wouldn't be able to do that that we'll be doing in the future video we'll be creating a simple middleware to check whether this token is valid or not 
uh, for now our auth authentication routes are completed and uh, now in the next video we'll be working a little bit on the front end because now we have done our basic front uh, back end with the authentication part now we'll be creating a simple front end with the use uh, register and login screen and then we'll be going ahead with to do task so thank you for watching let's meet in the next video